show you the interface there you go this is your interface uh refuel add-ons you tow the trailer it'll automatically refuel your truck and uh, you have increments and full load i'm gonna go with a full load and as you can see oh uh, here i'll i'll empty out all the fuel and if i were to start okay now i'm going to put fuel in 800 liters and yeah you can see the trailer kind of move there so it does model weight which is pretty cool little feature let's put it back in first and let's get on our way now that i've added the fuel i'm running 20 frames per second funnily enough so let's uh find a mouse there's my mouse and pop it into high if i didn't screw it up uh there we go all right yeah this game is very fun and i'm probably going to end up cutting this video into parts uh, so this game is, well, uh, I, I didn't actually, yeah, okay. Uh, I was playing the, um, I, yeah, you can imagine how bored I was, uh, when you hear this sentence come out of my mouth. I was playing the, uh, COD 4 campaign, yeah, I know, kill me. Um, and I actually recognized this truck. So there you go. Spin Tires, official sponsor of, uh, Call of Duty 4. Yeah. Yeah. No. So uh, if you're wondering why I decided to get this utility trailer, it's because there's a little jeep over here that I, uh, I'm pretty, oh, uh, 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 yeah, yeah, let's back this up, uh, as you can see right there, these trucks are pretty damn powerful, and, uh, when you do sometimes hit something, uh, stuff like that will happen, and your wheels will dig in, you can also turn on the headlights, but there's adaptive lighting, so uh, everything around you gets dark when you turn them on. And in that sense, it just makes it impossible to actually see anything when you turn on your headlights. So, uh, yeah. Great effect. And I can. They're sometimes useful. But, uh. Oh, here's a good time to show you another feature. Uh, the game features winches. So you can winch to other trucks and have them pull you or have you pull them. You can winch your trailer to stuff and try to get yourself out of mud and such. And uh, then there's also the advanced menu. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to park the trailer, put down the little legs, attach. Uh, I'm going to press V, which is advanced mode. Put this into first gear. Uh, press the one button to reset my camera. I'm going to go get this cloaking area that I just saw. Turn on the diff lock and everything so I can kill this tree. And we're nearly there, we're nearly there. One damage. There you go. So let's uh, put some reverse. Diff lock and all-wheel drive. Yeah, as, as you can see right there, I was having... Despite the fact that I was pinning the wheel all the way uh, in that direction, it did not want to turn at all. But uh, sometimes, turning on diff lock will actually help you turn better, because, uh, well, you might be in mud, and, uh, well, yeah. If you aren't moving at all, then you clearly aren't turning now, are you? I'm gonna put this into reverse here and mech it up. Reattach. And uh, that black vortice of doom was a cloaking point. So uh, I've just unlocked this extremely small area, which now allows me to see a extremely small area. Uh, and I, when I get that little scout vehicle, which it's like a little Land Rover Jeep thing, uh, I'll use that to scout. So just reattach the trailer. Uh, there we go. Attach. On park and press one for the camera one for the camera v for advanced pop it in first and off we go yeah that that's what happens when you miss is you just derp out the camera so yeah uh, i suppose oh let's stop here refuel repair and go on our mo uh, molly jolly way i don't know Hi, here. And we might end up tipping it here. Which is, uh, no point in life if you just do nothing. I, I, I don't know. 
No point in life, you just do nothing. Me. 7.45, Saturday, the 18th of October, 2014. Uh, let's just take a detour real quick. I'm gonna drive off this cliff. I'm pretty sure that there's a broken point down here. And, uh, Don't look down, just keep your head Intelligence. It's something I possess. Uh, I hear there's rumors on the uh, internets. This is what a rednecks do on their free time. Uh, Off-roading. Tractor trailers. Of course, Russian rednecks. This is a game that is set in Russia. The Soviet Union. Yeah, and they're... Yeah, so... Good luck is on, and I'm not trying to at all. Uh, I should probably turn on Elbow Drive before I kill myself in the water. Die, tree. Nobody loves you. Yeah, there you go. Bouncing around, because all the suspension is modified. So I'm going to start heading back up here. I'm going to leave, uh, I think I'll leave Diflon on at least. Because Diflon can help you climb up hills. Uh, actually, it will generally help you climb up hills. So, we're going to climb up a hill, as a matter of fact. If you want to make me a friend on Steam, there you go, Parker Four Legs. I'm never on Steam, because I never use Steam. I just have shortcuts. Games I play on Steam. Civ 5 and this. Uh, that's it. I also have Just Cause 2, but, uh, it, it's, it never worked, and I, I bought it, like, five years ago, so, so, yeah. And there you go, that's the difficult work. You can see it's way. just plowing get it in, with no regard to where the wheels are turning. So we will turn on all-wheel drive to turn off diff lock. Turn the wheels, and put it in the first before we kill ourselves. And now you will see why diff lock is sometimes necessary. Yeah, yeah, and there you go. And we're digging ourselves a hole. Diff luck. Ooh, ooh, okay, that, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah, yeah, come on, come on, come on, no, no, you don't wanna, no, okay, come on. Eh, uh, balls, okay. Throw in reverse, let's back ourselves out of this. As you can see, the, uh, the front of the vehicle does deform a little bit, and uh, as you can you can also look at the tires and see that those do have deformation physics because, well, in a game about off-roading, you do actually need them. We'll just uh, use our use gravity pull us back here. Is that yeah? Okay, it's gonna work. Okay. So yeah, this is quite the uh, this map is the hill, and you can see why it's a pain in the tush. Um, to actually get up this thing with a trailer, especially. Oh, up, oh, mm, uh, okay. There we go. And high gear. Gonna give me, yes, we're gonna give me high gear. So yeah. Uh, other things about hardcore. You can set waypoints on the map. Uh, to do that, no, I'll show you when I get to the crest. Or probably just right here, actually, as a matter of fact. Uh, yeah, uh -huh, uh -huh, yeah, okay. Uh, no, yeah. Uh, yeah, cameras, 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 there we go. Cameras in this game, again, terrible. <laughs> that is the downfall. That is, that is probably the main reason why people don't buy spin tires. Also, the fact that it's... Frankly, it's debatable if it's really a game. Well, it's really the only reason why me, princess. it exists is the mud physics. <laughs> I mean, I, let's be honest, these the developers just basically made a great engine and then said, oh, yeah, now how on earth are we going to apply that? I can definitely see how this would be good for, like, uh, rallies or uh, rock climbing simulators, for example. Uh, yeah, you can see just how much this thing, yeah. Going up, uh, 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 I stalled the engine. So now I'll show you how waypoints work. So, um, uh, basically you just open up the map and you can use, uh, you hold down right click and then you do that to, uh, move it and then you, uh, push down left click. Move it like that. There's our lumber yard. Which was uncloaked because of cloaking, or, no, I probably just didn't notice it. That would be why. I'm turning into one of them, use them YouTubers, yeah. There you go. Anyway, so, um, to set a waypoint, you just click. And you just click, and you just click. So you can set up a nice little route, and you can right-click to uh, get rid of them. Now, on casual, if I were to come out of here, 
you can see uh, that little red arrow is where my truck is pointing. This is the direction of the actual compass. Currently, my truck is uh, pointing in a direction of a southeast. Had uh, if I were playing on casual, there would be a red line going to the waypoint. That's another difference between hardcore and casual. In casual mode, um, in automatic, you get a. Uh, you also get the option to have a diff lock, and um, you also the fuel consumption is lower, and you can rescue to garages. So let's say I just, for example, drove this thing off a cliff. Uh, in casual mode, I'd be able just to click on a garage in the map, and uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to get. Uh, let's, let's see if I can do this here. No, okay, that's not going to happen. Anyway. Yeah, so you can uh, just click on a garage, and that will give you the ability to just rescue to that garage, which means that your truck will be teleported there, and you'll get full fuel and everything, which is good. I uh, yeah, yeah. Hardcore is easy enough, though. I mean, this game really is not that difficult. It can be extremely aggravating, aggravating, aggravating at times, but it's not difficult. So, because we're on a road here, I'm just going to switch to automatic turn off uh, all-wheel drive, because I don't want to be wasting too, too much fuel. You can run out of fuel in this game, and uh, especially in hardcore, it can be a bit brutal, especially if you aren't close to anything that, you know, would help you survive. But yeah, but yeah. So, I think I'm... I don't know. We're going to go find that little jeep, and... Do you want to call quits there? I've been playing for like 20 minutes. Uh, I'll try to milk a few episodes out of this, so I will go ahead and start decloaking, uncloaking some stuff, which means I'll be heading into Vortices of Doom. I think we want to take this next uh, road right here. Uh, I can't tell, frankly. Let's, uh, blowing mushrooms, blowing mushrooms. I'll go drive, headlights on. Yeah, okay, this appears to be the road. Oh, path. Oh, it's not, um, it's not much of a road, to be honest. Windows 7, screwing me over there. Uh, I, yeah, I've had a lot of world of ga uh, tanks. World of ganks, yeah. That's probably euthanism. That is probably a euthanism. Anyway, yeah. So, world of tanks game, so I've just been, you know, clicking because I'm in a T34 and my reload is 1.9 seconds. And, uh,. And there you go. Yeah, I've memorized this, this location because I've actually played this map three times now. And I've never beaten it. So, yeah. Too good. And as you can see, we can uh, winch to this truck. And we could have it like steer in different directions and everything. Which is cool. But we're going to get the Utoda trailer. Fuel him up. And repair his damage. Change the truck. Start the engine. Turn on all-wheel drive, toss into the high, and this truck is just, look at how much this thing bounces, it's hilarious, it's just, this truck is just fun. This is the ELC AMX of spin tires, just, just look at this thing, just bounces around, it's hilarious. I mean, it kills itself in the process, this, it's just absurd how much this thing bounces around, but it's, it's just fun, you know, it's like your playful truck, so. Toss up an ad, automatic, and we'll ask, oh my, yeah, drifting, drifting. Turn off all-wheel drive, it'll probably even get worse. And we'll see if I can't remember where this uh, garage is. Uh, yeah, okay, that's not good, that's, that, that's probably even worse, and now we're in the rocks. Can I get out of here in, probably not, okay, okay, let's just put this into, uh, first gear. And we appear to be rather suck. So I guess now's a good time to uh, show you how the winches work. So I have a winch, and there's no there's no winch point in sight, so. No, of course there isn't. Is, is that tree winch point? It's, no, it's, of course it's not. Uh, is there a winch point behind me? Yes. So you can select to go into a winch, and you can winch from this menu. But you can also hit advance again, now you have to have control. So I can put the truck into reverse, hit the throttle, and pull the winch. And now we're getting pulled out. Put in the parking brake. 
uh, uh, parking brake, please. Take off the winch. Put it in first gear. Parking brake off. I can tell it to release. And I ballsed it up. Come on, Mon. You can bet from that. Switch again. I'll just do it from this menu because it doesn't really matter. But uh, in this menu, when you winch, you have your parking brake on. So, in that sense, it is less than ideal. All right. So, um. Oh my God. Oh, just get out of it. Come on. Okay. So on the map, you can uh, just click on another truck, and that switch you to it. So let's start the engine. Turn it around. And go on a bit of a impromptu and really should not be needed rescue mission. Okay, what's happening? Cameras. Cameras. Again, cameras. Bane of spin tires existence. Shift it in high, and we are on our way. Doink. 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 Fifty-four damage. Turn off the diff lock and whatever the heck the other thing was, and let's uh start tossing an automatic. There we go. We're gonna go into our trailer view and see the uh wonderful trailer. Oh oh that's not supposed to happen. Yeah. Uh, because of how the steering in this game works, it is extremely hard to actually control these trucks at high speed. And there he is. Okay, let's just uh, let's give him a nice, friendly welcome, shall we? Hi there, guy. Hi. Hi. Hi, guy. Hi. What's happening? What's happening? Hi. What's happening? Let's back out of there. Jeez, these rocks are, they are brutal. And they also fly. Uh, you probably have already seen that as well. Let's pull this gun. Uh, we can actually tell him to uh, accelerate. There you go. And I can change truck to this. He's already on because I told him to turn on. That truck is slowly being blown up because of the rocks. And we'll put him in an automatic. Fender track differences are. I think that's where we turn. So let's uh, actually put him back into. If I could click on the gear shift. My gear, turn on all-wheel drive, and this doesn't appear to actually be where I was supposed to turn. Right, time for waypoints. Uh, yeah, we're quite far off. Can, yeah, we'll just take the, the backward approach, I suppose, you could say. I should probably plot out the course before uh, I get lost. So, uh, we'll go there, and go, no, go here, and go here, and do the garage. Uh, that is a left turn. Put in the high gear. We can just leave this on because we're actually heading to the garage, so uh, don't really need to worry about fuel or damage. Do have to worry about drifting. That's a problem. Put it in reverse. Uh, find the mouse. And here we go. Uh, these bridges can be nightmares because they are so small and they have that giant dip in them. So uh, I've never actually gotten a long load of lumber across one of those bridges. These bridges, however, they're they're tame. These guys, these guys are nice. They're they're good guys. They're just pretty good guys. So we're just gonna head to the garage, and you'll see why in a second. Because uh, this tank, this tank, yes, this tank, it's a tank, guys. I really do wish I had tanks in this game. Uh, but, um, uh, with most of the vehicles, you can change your wheels. You can change, you can add add-ons. Although with this one, you can only add a trunk, which will give you some repair points. Which is, you know, that's good. Great if you got, like, you know, big beefy wheels or something, but... You can always get you what you want, right? Uh, so we're just going to um, explore a little bit, I think, and uh, we'll call it a day. 
I'm actually waiting for, uh, I've recorded three videos already. Uh, oh, oh, that's, that, okay. Okay, well, that ended well. Uh, hmm. Uh, you know what? On that bombshell, I think it's time to end. Thank you all so much for watching. Oh, <laughs> uh, God. And I will see you all... Ugh, next time. If you liked the video, give it a like. If you didn't like it, give it a dislike. And please tell me why. Uh, yeah. This was Spin Tires. I'll probably make another video of this. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you all next time. Have a very nice day.